the Georgia spring game yesterday, Colby Young, man. What, what were we talking about? Last time, last two times we talked about Georgia on this show this spring, I said, they've got a kid from Miami that some of you may know, some of you may not, but man, Colby Young's good. And he's a different, like, big-bodied receiver. Well, there he is in the spring game yesterday. One of the first things I saw, because I happened to scrub ahead in their game, boom, Colby Young boxing someone out in the end zone, making a touchdown catch. But beyond him, so, so first off, Colby Young's going to be a serious factor for Georgia this year. And I didn't need the spring game to tell me that, but the spring game reinforced it. So anecdotally, I'm going to point it out. Uh, you know Georgia had 18 guys, I think, catch balls in the spring game yesterday. And also, if you've listened to Kirby talk, he said it on our show when we had him on a couple of months ago, kind of, but then he really hammered it home after the G-Day game. He said, typically, the, the characteristics and the traits that he wants out of his DBs his wide receiver room is actually exhibiting right now. Like the offensive line unit there in the wide receiver room, kind of the two alpha positions on Georgia's roster. And they had 18 guys catch balls yesterday, and certainly that's not going to be how many guys figure into the regular rotation this fall. But it goes to show you how deep and versatile the room is there. I don't think there's a guy on that roster that's going to go out there and, and drop like a Devontae Smith type year on you. But what they do have is they've got like half a dozen guys who any week could drop seven catches for 120 and two touchdowns on you. And that's not typically what we've said about Georgia. So that was good to see. Uh, DB, I think, is still sort of in a state of flux with them. Now, here's the difference. Okay, what Georgia has right now at defensive back, if they had it elsewhere to an 80 percentile degree in college football, they'd be happy with it. But Kirby's not settling for that. And I think I took note of one thing that as, as, as I followed Georgia throughout the spring and he hammered it home yesterday afterwards, I've been on the road a lot this spring and I've had some coaches off the record admit that, yeah, a lot of these guys who are out this spring injured are not injured. They're just not playing because their uncle or their agent or whoever told them not to. And what can I do? If I push him on it really hard, I'm going to lose him in the portal. Whether you like it or not, that's going on, probably at your school right now. Well, Kirby said, yeah, we've actually got guys fighting to make sure they play in the spring game and getting pissed off at us because we're trying to keep them out to preserve them for the fall. That's, you want to know what a championship culture looks like? That's one. That's one. How terrified are your guys? First off, how competitive are your guys to just want to play because they threw a football out on the field? The other thing is, how terrified are they that three or four former top 100 recruits are right behind them on the depth chart? That's why you got to be relentless recruiting. Stack as many of them as you can. That's one reason. And the other reason is because you all of a sudden find out you don't really have to worry about guys sort of napping through spring ball. Because if they do, then uh, they can take a nap in the fall as well because they won't be playing, they won't be starting. Uh, they look good at running back, man. Georgia looks really good at running back. And I think tight end was not featured in this game much yesterday, but I think tight end's a position of strength for them as well. So they're going to be, as usual, able to be very balanced and very versatile offensively. Here's the thing. So I know that people will watch Georgia. If you could go to practice there, your jaw would be on the ground. You would look around and you would say, how in the world is anyone going to beat this team? You could watch them in the spring game. You don't even have to be at practice. You can watch them in the spring game. You can just look at the raw athleticism out there and think to yourself, man, how's anyone going to beat this team this fall? And it's like the best way I can describe why guys like Kirby Smart are so paranoid, even though they may have the best talent roster in the country, is it's not the average temperature, okay? So like in the United States of America right now, the average temperature could be 65 degrees. It's perfectly comfortable. But you know there are cold pockets somewhere where it may be 37. That's football. You just got to find your cold pockets. You got to make sure you minimize your cold pockets. So while you may be looking at Carson Beck, you may be looking at that ground game, you may be looking even without Brock Bowers at the potential of the tight end room or the wide receiver room, Kirby Smart knows there are cold pockets on this team. And it's not even a fully formed team yet because it's still spring. But that, in a nutshell, is why guys like that, no matter how good they look, will never be content. They can't be. That's the nature of what got them where they are in the first place. The reason I'm 
talking about that is because I had someone text me and say, did you hear Kirby? Did you hear him gaslighting, in their words, after the spring game, trying to pretend like they've got so many issues? Well, to their standard, they do. To their standard, their defensive back room's not good enough. I, have you not listened to that guy, by the way? He doesn't really BS you a lot. He may not give you everything, but he doesn't BS you a lot. In, in press conferences, we had him on the show. It's pretty much what you see is what you get. He'll be honest with you if you ask him the right questions. So Georgia, probably going to start the season as number one. They're not without questions. Uh, they'll be the favorite to win the national title, as they probably should. But where are the cold pockets? That, that's, all, that's all guys like Kirby Smart are focused on right now.